Toro. If you're interested in learning what the process looks like for launching new pieces or designing new pieces for a fine jewelry brand, make sure to watch this. Hi there, I am Rosa. I am the founder of Mialoro. We are a fine jewelry company based out of downtown LA. I'm really focused around providing effortless elegance for the modern woman. Um, we truly focus on utilizing quality materials, uh, providing versatile styles, and ultimately pieces that are meant to last a lifetime. It's important for me to build products that women can wear on a daily basis, and it's something that you don't have to think about or worry about having to accessorize on a daily basis. Um, so I am actually going to be launching a couple new pieces soon. Um, and I wanted to share a little bit about that process and what that looks like for these specific two pieces. So I'm actually wearing um, one piece. This is gonna be one of the pieces that I'm launching. And then the initial necklace that I'm wearing here is actually the other piece I'm launching in like about two weeks or so. So I'll actually get started on this one. Um, so what I was looking for uh, to add on to the current bracelet collections that I have is actually to provide a piece that was a little bit more dainty and feminine yet sophisticated. Um, I noticed while I was wearing my Amor Curve uh, bracelet that it has a little bit more of that masculine design. So I wanted something that would complement that more feminine dainty vibe um, to the Amor Curve bracelet. Additionally, I wanted to provide a piece that was adjustable. Um, all of the pieces or all of the bracelets that I've had up to this point are really pieces that come in a set size. So with that, I had the thought that it would be important for me to provide a bracelet that could be adjustable and that can really um, be utilized all, in all different body types without having to worry about you know, increasing a size or maybe ordering a size that was a little too small or too big and so forth. So that was um, really the hope for the bracelet here. I'm not quite sure what I'll be calling it yet, but I'm, I've am i been loving this bracelet since I've added it. Um, well, I haven't officially launched it on site, but since I've had it, I've actually been wearing it every single day and I really love the daintiness, but yes, sophisticated and noticeable look to it. Now, um, the second piece is one that I'm actually so excited about, which is the little initial pendant necklace here. And so this is actually going to be the first diamond piece that I will be launching on Miel Oro. Up until this point, I've only focused on providing solid gold, uh, specifically yellow gold jewelry at 14 karat level. Um, the reason being is because, you know, gold jewelry is something that is so extremely versatile and something that I've worn for such a long time and something that I'm very passionate about and absolutely love wearing on a daily basis. And I think it is beautiful colors that can be added literally to, from a t-shirt looks to, you know, going out looks. Um, and transparently, you know, diamonds isn't something that I had been very educated on. So I wanted to wait until I felt, you know, ready to be able to, um, work with diamonds and be able to provide a diamond piece. So this pendant necklace is an initial necklace. Um, it is roughly about uh, 0.10 carats and there are lab grown diamonds that I will be using all ethically and sustainably sourced. Um, additionally, it, the pendant is made on a 14 carat uh, solid yellow gold um, backing as well as the bale, of course. And with this piece, I really was looking for something that was a personalizable piece. I think that there's something so special about having jewelry that either, you know, um, represents something around your name, maybe, or a loved one or an event and so forth. But particularly, I think from a gifting standpoint, not just obviously for yourself, but also um, I think it's a really nice and thoughtful way to be able to gift uh, somebody with a personalized item. So that was one of the other reasons why I wanted to add this piece onto the collection. Now, in terms of sort of that design process, so I um, do work with experts within their fields in terms of manufacturing and actually bringing my idea to a live product. So I actually work um, with one of my manufacturers. We put together a CAD design um, that I went ahead and provided guidance for. I knew exactly the type of like font and size that I wanted this piece to be as I um, do want it to be a very feminine, dainty, yet obviously like noticeable piece. 
Um, so from that process, I had the opportunity to work with my manufacturer to actually bring this to life. And um, I am still kind of uh, trying to decide exactly what uh, chain I want to provide this uh, pendant on. So as of now, I'm using more of like the um, beaded solid yellow gold necklace. I am deciding between this and a box chain necklace. So I think both of them are stunning and I definitely want to give it a little bit of an edge and a little bit more um, of character versus like the traditional Rolo or traditional um, box or traditional chains that oftentimes um, initial pendants are are placed on. So, um, so yeah, so that is what I have been working on and I did want to just elaborate a little bit more around what the process generally looks like for me as I'm adding new pieces. Um, most importantly, the way that I approach this is, you know, what pieces do I currently have already? How can I round out the collection even more? How do I bring pieces together that complement each other and that can be layered with, with each other, but also can be worn on their own? Or that can really easily match with existing jewelry collections that women might have in place already, as most women do. And then taking it a step from that, um, I have really been focusing the last couple months on being more inclusive and being more mindful about sizing, uh, not just from rings, but also bracelets. So that was one of the reasons why I really wanted an adjustable bracelet. Um, but the same goes for necklaces, etc. Traditionally, the jewelry industry has been more um, standardized in terms of sizes provided and not always um, the most inclusive as it relates to all different body shapes and sizes. So it's definitely something that is also at the forefront of when I am bringing on or designing or working on producing a new piece. Um, so that is typically what the process looks like. Uh, if you guys have any questions, happy to answer those. Thank you.